Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So in the previous video, we aligned our photos, we gave it a little tidy up by removing some of the uh, excess points that we didn't really need. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a dense cloud. Now I'm doing exactly what I did in section three. I'm creating a dense cloud and then I'm going to um, extract the mesh from the dense cloud and also from the depth map just to show you the differences. How I usually work is what I'll do is I'll... Um, extract my mesh from the def depth maps first. If that doesn't give me the results that I want, then I'll switch to a dense cloud and try that and then just see which one out of the, um, the two is the best and whether I need to perhaps add more photos, take better photos, etc. So what we do is we go to chunk, right click, process, build dense cloud, just leave it at medium. Generally this works nine times out of ten absolutely fine for your meshes um, obviously if it doesn't and you want more detail you can increase it to all try but be warned these do add a lot of time to your um uh when it's building the dense cloud so this can add a lot of time medium just seems to work fine drop down advanced just check that these are identical to mine that filtering mild reuse depth maps ticked and calculate point colors um so minimize that press OK. This will uh, do its thing and what I'll do is um, just pause the video here, wait for yours to finish and then join back in. So after the uh, dense cloud is built we should have something that is like this um, which gives us a good idea of how the boot's going to turn out. And I think you'll agree it turned, it's going to turn out very well. As I say we turn it over and um, all full 360 here. We've even got a bit of the inside of the boot um, so as you can see, this is going to be very good. Obviously, this has got no texture applied, and this is not the final mesh. Um, as I say, I'm showing you both the dense cloud and the depth map method, so um, you can choose what you prefer using and what works best for your mesh that you're scanning. So um, what we'll do next is we will go and generate our mesh um, from this using the depth maps and the dense cloud. <laughs> 